Hey everybody! For those of you who aren't familiar with this series, this is where I take a game that I'm currently playing and try to explain to you in 10 minutes or less why it's awesome. For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at For the King, which is a very interesting hybrid game that describes itself as a roguelike tabletop adventure. And while I would definitely agree that that is an apt, succinct description of this game, I think it almost sells it a little bit short, because there are so many other little details and facets to how this game is put together that aren't represented in that description that I want to just take a minute and touch on those before we get too deeply into things. So this is a game that has RPG elements. It has a very robust and fully featured turn-based combat system. And perhaps the best icing on this particular cake is the fact that this is a game that can be played cooperatively with up to three players. A feature that I personally find to be one of its most endearing and prominent. Beyond those core fundamental features, you also have a few interesting wrinkles that this game brings to the table in the form of its multiple campaigns and a very well thought out unlock system which provides additional weapons, character classes, encounters, and locations that can be used to spice up the gameplay experience by injecting new elements into the randomly generated maps that the game takes place on in subsequent playthroughs. Given that the roguelike element in this game represents one of its core design pillars, it's not at all surprising that the entire thing has been built in such a way that encourages replayability. Each time you start a new campaign and explore the randomly generated world, you'll gain new insights and develop new strategies for dealing with the various hazards and challenges that appear within it. And as you play through the game, you'll accumulate lore books, which allow you to gain access to the previously mentioned unlocks. There's something really tangibly satisfying about the way this game is put together in that just about every aspect of it feels particularly lovingly crafted and assembled in a way that makes it particularly difficult for me to cite any noteworthy issues or pitfalls or warning signs to throw out there to potential players. I really do believe that anyone who has an inherent or natural inclination towards this style of gameplay would almost certainly find For the King to be a charming, alluring, and deeply satisfying experience. I'd even go so far as to say that this is a perfect game to introduce someone to this style of gameplay. If you've got a friend or loved one who's been reluctant to try out board games or tactical strategy games or RPGs or any of the subgenres that are woven into this overall package, I think this would be an absolutely excellent game to try to win them over with. The myriad of configuration options, the mechanical depth of the game, and its charming and well-executed aesthetic I believe contribute to making this an experience that should be satisfying to just about anyone who enjoys playing games. And at the $20 asking price, this game is an absolute steal in terms of its value proposition. In case it's not abundantly obvious by this point, I think For the King is an absolutely fantastic game, and a strong contender for my personal game of the year for 2018. If any of what you're seeing or any of what I'm saying regarding this game seems at all appealing to you, do yourself a favor and check it out. This is a game you should absolutely not sleep on and should absolutely make the time to judge for yourself. As I believe that the experience of playing this game is far more exciting and interesting and compelling than the experience of watching it being played by someone else. Having said all that, I am going to bring this video to a close. Hopefully you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, be sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.